Hello 7th graders. We are here to help you study for Mrs. Hasek's modern genetic science test. We took a break from our superhero duties to go over some main topics for the test. We can't stay long. But we know this test is important and we hear that you've been really doing great with all of this material. So let's review. To start things off, can you remember the three patterns of inheritance that scientists have discovered? Oh, yep. Yeah. I remember. There are single genes with two alleles. This would be like the widow's peak traits we studied. There are genes with multiple alleles. This would be like blood type, where there are three alleles. Finally, there are traits controlled by a group of many genes like human height or skin color. Awesome job. I can tell you've been studying. We should also remember that the sex chromosomes for a male are X and Y. The sex chromosomes for a female are X and X. Right. That explains why males are more likely to have sex-linked traits. They only have one X chromosome, so a recessive allele on the X chromosome will always produce the trait in males. Females would need to have two recessive alleles on both of their X chromosomes to have the disease. That makes sense now. Thanks. I wanted to remind you that Mrs. Hasek said we'd need to know how to read a pedigree and what it can be used for. We should know that it is a chart that tracks which members of a family have a certain tray. Scientists can trace the patterns of inheritance with pedigrees. Also, we should remember that the circles in a pedigree represent a female and the squares in the pedigree represent a male. Horizontal lines represent a marriage or mating and vertical lines represent offspring. Thanks for that summary. It really helps. I want to talk about the advances in genetics that we went over at the end of the chapter. What can you tell me about cloning? Cloning results in two organisms that are genetically identical. This is more complex in animals than in plants. In plants, clones can be produced from taking a cutting of a plant and letting it grow roots. What can you tell me about selective breeding? That's when we discuss breeding organisms with specific traits, so that the offspring will have a desired trait or group of traits. We talked about in breeding where organisms with very similar traits are bred. We also talked about hybridization where organisms with different traits are bred to get a combination of those traits in the offspring. Oh, yes, I remember that from Mrs. Hussick's example of her dog, Z.E.K.E. He was a result of hybridization between a Lyasa dog and a Scotty dog. He has traits of both of those breeds. That's right. Good memory. Thanks. We're also supposed to know about genetic engineering. This is where we learned about some gene therapy techniques. Scientists hope to take the bad genes out of cells and put the good genes in. This could help people with genetic disorders. One last thing that I want to ask you about is this Human Genome Project. What is a genome, and what is this project about? A genome is all the DNA in one cell of an organism. And, the Human Genome Project's purpose was to identify the DNA sequence of every gene in the human genome. Thanks for helping me with that. I think I'm feeling pretty good about this test now. Do you want to review some of those genetic disorders really quick? Sure sounds good. Okay, cystic fibrosis is when the mucus in the lungs is really thick, and it's caused by a recessive allele. Sickle cell disease is when blood cells are shaped like a sickle, and they have trouble holding oxygen, because there's a problem with the hemoglobin. This is caused by a curd dominant allele. Do you remember what we need to know about Down syndrome and hemophilia? Yes. Hemophilia is when a person's blood clots really slow or not at all. It is caused by a recessive allele on the X chromosome. And, finally Down syndrome is usually shown by mental retardation and heart defects. This is due to an extra copy of chromosome 21. That's right, that extra chromosome can actually be seen and diagnosed from a karyotype. Excellent. Let's go show off how much we've learned on this test. Good luck 7th graders.